Hello friends, in this webinar we will learn about the potential harms resulting from the unnecessary and excessive use of blood products. Blood transfusion is an important component of treatment in the SNCU and preterm infants are the ones most frequently transfused. Blood transfusions we all know have potential harms especially so in the preterm infants. Very importantly, these blood transfusions can be avoided or decreased by adopting standard transfusion guidelines. The harms associated with blood transfusions include mismatched transfusions that can result from human errors, transfusion transmitted infections like HIV, hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus. A small but definite risk of acquiring these exists despite the screening that is done and there are others as worrisome but for which no screening is done routinely like cytomegalovirus. Risk of acquiring infection is also there due to the procedure per se. Then there is the risk of hyperkalemia and volume overload which tends to happen due to not accounting for the additional volume transfused. Severe side effects that are peculiar to the preterm infant include 1 increased mortality, 2 oxygen free radical injury as the preterm has compromised antioxidant defense and is therefore more vulnerable, 3 intraventricular hemorrhage, 4 neonatal necrotizing enterocolitis and 5th chronic lung disease. Why is it important to reduce blood transfusions? It is important because the reduction of transfusion rates has been shown to reduce the incidence of retinopathy of prematurity, neonatal necrotizing enterocolitis, intraventricular hemorrhage, chronic lung disease and therefore improve outcomes in the preterm infant. It is therefore very very important to balance the benefits of blood transfusion against the possible harms.